Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will uh, you, uh, make a fraction demo uh, that handle curls in a mixed form and we create uh, several fraction objects and show that its method work well. Create a class fraction with instance variables that contain an integer, a numerator and a denominator. In addition, create properties for all instance variables. The change, the changer for the dominator should not accept the value zero. The default value is one. Add three constructors. One of them takes three parameters, integer, numerator, dominator. Another takes two parameters numerator and denominator. If that co constructor is used, the integer is set to zero. The last constructor has no parameters. It sets the uh, values of integer and numerator to zero and the value of uh, the numerator to one. It is not necessary to reduce the noise of the constructor Example, although 3 divided by 9 can be reduced to 1 divided by 3, your designer does not need to do that. Add a reduce method that, if possible, shorten a fraction. Example, 2 divided by 4 must be 1 divided by 2. Add a operate, an operator plus method that adds two fractions to add two numbers mixed from mixed form. First, estimate any integers by writing as a pure fraction. Fraction example is that two divide uh, two and one divided by four becomes 9 divided by 4. Find a common denominator for the two carrots and add. Finally, call the reduce method to shorten the result and reset to mixed form. Means that the fraction is less than 1. Example is 77 divided by 20 becomes 3 17 divided by 20. Include a method that returns a text string that contains a value of it common display format. The integer space denominator a slash and the denominator. When the integer is zero, only the fraction of the value should be displayed. One divided by two instead of zero hull. If the numerator is zero, only the integer should be displayed. Two instead of two and zero divided by three. Add an operator multiple method that correctly multiples two objects and shortens them to the correct format as above. Now we are going to start a new project, console application, name it and create and it opens this, uh, uh, this window and make sure that uh, you are using the same uh, namespace SLR or uh, classes and in namespace you do something it, ha it must have uh, avoid the main method but before we go through this one the original uh, class program we are going to go through the R class uh, R class after that class after that class we are making another class, public class fraction, and we are going to define three 
integer private integer int integer int numerator int denominator all of them starts with underscore underscore and then we are going to have a property public int digit set this dot underscore integer equals value get return this dot underscore integer another property is public int numerator with the same way as uh, for digit and the numerator must be different we are going to use set if this dot underscore numerator is zero we are going to get a wrong message the numerator must be non-zero and we are going to put is as default value one and uh, this otherwise this dot underscore denominator is value and get is this uh, return this dot underscore denominator we have a constructor public fraction it must be the same name as uh, class this dot underscore integer zero this dot underscore numerator zero this under dot underscore denominator one it is default value then we have another constructor with two parameters numerator denominator this dot underscore integer zero numerator check underscore num uh, numerator to string and it is a method and this check demo denom denominator to string and uh, we are going uh, through check num uh, method later we are going to make another uh, fraction constructor with three with uh, three uh, uh, parameter this dot underscore integer is integer numerator is check num numerator denominator check denom denominator and int uh, we are going to have a array of uh, uh, method which uh, which uh, returns an array of integers prim we call it prim int n1 int n2 they reduce the numbers with their common multiple int n equals 2 n2 uh, an array of uh, integer number is new int two uh, um, members for int from two i from two less than n we are going to use while reminded of the division n one by i is zero and n2 uh, a reminder of uh, division n2 by i is zero n1 equals n1 divided by i n2 equals n2 divided by i and number zero is n1, number one is n2. Then we are going to have another method calc int num, int denom, and uh, two array of integers number, prim number. The, the first one has three members, the other one two members. If num greater than or equal denom and non 
divided by denom equals zero and num number zero is num divided by denom the integer part number two is the reminder of num divided by denom is reminded and number two is denom else if num greater than denom and the reminder of the division is not zero then the integer part is num divided by denom the reminder num is num uh, reminds uh, of the division of denom and prim number is called the prim uh, the prim uh, method which is up here prim of num and denom number one is prim number zero because it is an integer and an array and uh, the number two is prim number one else number equals if else is num less than denom number zero of zero integer part prime number we call num uh, prime method and we put it the result in number and we return number after that we are going to call the reduce uh, reduce the method and its parameter is a, a class fra of fraction f and we are going to define string s int num int denom and uh, int an array of integer number of three elements or uh, members and num is f dot Numer numerator f dot denumerator if num greater than zero and denom greater than zero number is we call calculate num and denom and calculate is here as we saw the previous method and return s equals we call output um, uh, method number zero number one and number two the it finds which uh, which one greater and reduce with the multiple and in output it prints the result of those uh, members uh, or parameters else if num greater than zero and denom less than zero denom uh, multiple with minus one and number is calculate num and denom again if number of zero is zero uh, we return s equals output we don't need this number of zero and minus one multiple by number one and number two else we are going to have a output minus multiple by number zero and number one and number two we are going to print out else if num and denom num is uh, less than zero and uh, denom is positive num equal multiple with minus one uh, number is the calculate num and denom and if number zero equals zero return s that one and return else return that one else both num and denom are negative 
we multiply with minus one and number calculate num and denom and return number zero number one and number two uh, we print out later we are going to make a uh, make a operator plus we uh, add uh, classes and it is operator operator plus is of type fraction and uh, it returns a fraction and the parameters we have two parameters uh, which are class of uh, type uh, class of type fractions and we are four integers num1 ff dot numerator this is this one ff dot denumerator and num2 denum2 this is fff dot numerator and fff dot <laughs> underscore denumerator <laughs> int m0 is num1 multiple by denum2 plus denom1 multiple by num2 is the is the calculation uh, we must have the same den denominator and uh, int m1 denom1 multiple by denom2 is going to be denom and it is going to be a uh, numerator fraction f2 new fraction of m0 and m1 and return f2 and fraction uh, with two parameters this constructor it is uh, this one that it uh, check and uh, make a make a check and uh, put the result and we are going to return F2 now with the operator multiple uh, multiple two classes we are going to do the same as above and here a numerator is multiplication of uh, numerators and uh, the denominator is multiplication of the uh, numerators and we are going to use f2 fraction a class new class of that constructor and we return f2 then we are going to have a, a output method which is the print out uh, of three parameters entry check the norm and uh, if n1 is 0 no integer and if n2 is 0 no num return 0 it, it uh, prints out 0 else if n3 is 1 return n2 return n2 else return n2 dot string plus that um, slash plus n3 dot string it makes a fraction else if n2 equals 0 num return only n1 to string the integer part else return n1 plus space plus n2 divided by n3 check the norm is a method of an string int the norm while 
int dot tripash s comma out deno we are going to may uh, read it as integer convert s as integer and put it on deno equals false or int dot posh s equals zero you must give a error message the, num the numerator must be non zero and an integer please enter an integer and we are going to read to s and then we are going to return int uh, uh, integer uh, s in integer form there method check num while the conversion of s to integer we are going to put it in num is it false we are going to get an error message numerator must be an integer please enter an integer and we are going to read it in s and we are going to return the implicit uh, the uh, the value in integer then we have uh, a fraction check with the parameter x and we are going to define a constructor or a class and if x contains space and x com contains slash variable we are going to put variable s0 equals x split with that one and variable t0 is s null of s0 of 1 split with a slash int num equals f null dot check num of t0 of 0 int the num equals to f0 dot check the num t null of 1 that we introduce it up there if integer part integer form of s null of zero less than zero we are going to uh, use integer m equals to minus one multiple by s null zero multiple by denom plus num and we are going to uh, call uh, the f uh, the constructor uh, of two parameters minus one multiple by m and denom and return f1 else else if this one is positive or equal zero we are going to use this method and we are going to call f1 in this um, uh, we are going to call a uh, uh, constructor with two parameters and we are going to return f1 the result is coming to f1 else if not x contains space and x contains slash then we are going to split x from slash and numerator if check num uh, zero is uh, zero zero and the numerator check the num is null of one and fraction we call the constructor with two parameters num and denom and put the result in class f1 and return else if x contains dot console write line 
wrong value please enter a fraction and uh, string x8 console read and we are going to call f0 check x1 to be sure that the value we have entered is correct and we return f1 else it is only an integer int m equals f null dot check num x and we are going to call the uh, constructor with two parameter m and one one is the norm is the fault and we are going to return put the result in one, f1 and return okay it was all in with the fraction um, class everything was in a fraction class now we are going to a class program and we are going to define two variable static variable string uko ye and sd it is for loop and a static integer m0 m1 m2 in main we are going to uh, define a class f0 of fraction and while uko is y we are going to ask please enter two integers for reduction differ with comma second one must be non-zero variable s we are going to read what we write and we are going to split it comma int num is f0 check num s of 0 the num f check the num uh, s of 1 f0 dot numerator is num f0 dot denominator is the num <coughs> And we are going to call the, uh, the constructor num and demo. And we are going to write line f0 dot reduce f1. Then we are going to use console write line. Please enter two fractions for addition differ with comma we are going to read and split it with comma and we are going to uh, call the check x0 and call the check x1 and put it in two uh, two uh, in two classes and f3 plus f4 is uh, put it in another fr uh, another class and we are going to write blood f0 dot reduce f5 and then we are going to ask two fraction for multiplication differ with comma and variable y is uh, reading and split it uh, from comma and uh, the first uh, the first element is uh, going to be checked and the result in uh, class f6 the second element is checked and put it in f7 and f8 is f6 multiple by f7 and we are going to uh, print the result into the screen and then we are going to ask do you want to continue yes or no and if it is yes okay yes else okay no 
if it is okay yes it's coming here and continue uh, the whole okay now we are running the program it is control f5 I hope that you pause the video and uh, copy all those uh, code sources and run it. So, uh, two integers. I use seven, comma, twenty one. it is 1 divided by 3 is correct. Two fractions. I use uh, 3 17 divided by mm, by 19 comma result is that uh, two fractions for multiplication we are going to use 5 6 divided by 7 comma 9 uh, divided by 8 and the result is that and it is correct do you want continue yes we are going to use uh, 3.5 comma 7 and it is incorrect must be an integer and we are going to use uh, 5 comma 7 it is It's okay, but uh, uh, I don't know what it's, it's but uh, we run it again. F5. We are going to use uh, 3, 7, and then uh, 3, 15 divided by 8, comma, 2 divided by and it is uh, we are going to use the same We 
don't need to continue and everything works okay it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial